Now we are going to discuss the page 14 about the chemical cell which inner electrodes. Okay. So first of all, if your cell have metal electrodes, then you should pay attention because metals are common RA. Metals are common reducing agent. So you have two choice. The lead or copper react will be Become a reducing agent, but as we know, lead is more reactive. So we choose lead as a common uh, or the reducing agent in our experiment. That is lead. Okay. Well, for the oxidizing agents, we have two choice. Um, first one is lead two nitrate, and the second one is copper two nitrate. Now. You should pay attention is the nitrate ion nitrate ion not nitrate acid okay the nitrate ion will not undergo redox reaction easily so we have only two choice remain the first one is copper 2 iron the second one is lead 2 iron so for the oxidizing agent you should understand that the oxidizing agent undergo reduction okay so they will receive electron so which one will receive electron more readily now oh, we have the copper 2 iron right because copper 2 iron can be extracted to form copper easier than that of the um, lead to iron so we can conclude that the copper to iron should receive electron more readily than lead to iron okay now next we are going to discuss which one is positive in and which one is the negative electron so first of all as I say you should draw the direction of electron flow first okay and here shows because lead is a more reactive metal so lead will donate electron to copper electrode okay so this one that means lead should be a negative electrode and the copper should be positive electrode well good then we can have an our idea at the negative electrode the lead metal will donate electron to form lead to iron well at the positive electron well because copper will not receive electron okay it only conducting okay copper will not receive electron the one who will receive electron is copper 2 iron so the copper 2 iron will receive electron to form copper okay and finally we can find that um there should be reddish brown solid form here okay and the lead will be reduced in size the second one is how about the half cell with inner electrode now first of all uh, carbon or petium will act as an inner electrode okay and we have sodium bromide solution and acidified potassium dichromate solution so once again sodium iron and potassium iron will not undergo redox reaction easily okay so we can ignore them in this case and remaining is dichromate iron or we got bromide iron now if you still remember the table with common oxidizing agent you will understand that the dichromate will act as a oxidizing agent so here we copy down dichromate iron well on the other hand we got bromide iron as the reducing agent now it is easy to memorize because halogen are oxidizing agent so halide iron will be reducing agent so I hope all of you can remember this okay for the half reaction or half equation at the negative electrode so once again what is mean by oxidizing agent 
Well, they undergo reduction. Reduction means receive electron. Okay, what well, that means, the electron flow will be somewhere like this, okay? Now, you can see it. The arrow, the drawing of electron flow is very, very, very important. So I hope all of you can memorize to do it uh, while you are in test or examination. So that means this one will be negative and this one is the positive. Okay? So at the negative electron, the bromide ion will lose electron to form bromine. Well, after we balance the equation, it will be like this. While at the positive electron, that means here, okay, we will have the dichromate ion to form chromium free ion. So I hope more of you can do it by yourself. Like this. Okay. Well, next one, we got more and more examples, okay? Okay, in this case one, so first of all, check, well, good. They are inner electrodes, okay? And this time, sulfate iron, once again, sulfate iron, like nitrate iron, they will not undergo uh, redox reaction easily. And potassium iron will not, okay? So we only have two remains. The first one is aldehyde iron. The second one is iron free. So, since iron free iron cannot lose electron anymore, right? So, they can only receive electron. That means electron here. Well, because iron free iron, they can turn to iron 2, right? They cannot turn to iron 4. So, they have no point to lose electron. Well, good. We get the electron flow direction. And the oxidizing agent is the one who receives electron. Okay, good. Gain electron. That will be iron free. And the reducing agent will be aldehyde iron. So, once again, because halide iron are reducing agent. Okay? And this one, see, the half cell A, since they give out electron, say, so they belong to negative pole. And this one is positive pole. So, at the negative electron, will be two aldehyde iron to form aldine and two electrons. Well, on this way is the iron free iron receive electron to form iron two, right? Well, next one. Petium electron is inert. Nitrate, no need to care about it. Potassium iron, also we can ignore it. Now, permanganate is the common OA. So, so you can see, this is very important to, for us to memorize the, the common OA and common LA. Well, common OA, good. We write down this permanganate. Okay? Well, for this part, we only have iron 2 remains. Okay? And the OA will gain electron. That means here and here. Okay? So, once again, this is the negative pole. This is the positive pole. And at the negative pole here, the iron 2 will lose electron to form iron 3. Well, easy. For this one, the permanganate. So, once again, I think all of you should do it by yourself, right? So, this half equation, I think you have uh, written down for many, many times. In case 3, now, have uh, inner electron. So we should uh, be careful because um, this is sodium sulfate solution. Well, both of them can be ignored because they will not undergo reaction easily. And sodium iron will not do so, right? And we got only SO3 here, SO3 2 minus iron, okay? Just like SO2. So this is a common RA. This is 
not easy for us to guess the RA or OA here because they produce uh, or they consist both halogen and halide ion. So this is not easy for us to predict from this point, but this is easy here. Okay, so we got only reducing agent here. So here we write down and. If reducing agent is here, that means they will give electron, okay? And this is negative, that is positive, okay? So uh, when electron comes here, only bromine solution can receive electron. So they are the only OA in our system, okay? And the negative electron, we got SO3, 2 minus, and water, 2 form sulfate ion and two hydrogen ion and two electron well this sulfate sulfate ion or so2 to form sulfate ion please remember and do it by yourself well on the other hand we got bromine to receive two electron to form bromide ion okay finally we got many many different type of uh, ions okay we got Fe3 plus is a stronger oxidizing agent. Well, that means we choose this one because it's a stronger oxidizing agent. Okay. Well, for the reducing agent, uh, reducing agent's job is try to lose electron. So no point for us to use this one, right? Because Sn4 plus, they cannot lose electron anymore. So we got only one choice is Sn2 iron. Okay. Now, so how? So once again, um, Fe3 plus will act as an oxidizing agent. That means the electron flow, well, this time is, e, is reversed. This one will be negative um, pole, and then this one it will be positive pole. At the negative pole, the tin 2 ion will lose electron to tin 4 ion. Okay, we got information from here. And the electron travel here to the positive pole and Fe3 plus the ion 3 ion will gain electron to form ion 2 okay so here we finish our last session in the notes okay so once again please remember the common OA common RA okay and you should able to memorize that uh, first of all Halogen is OA, halide ion is RA, and some kind of ion will not undergo redox reaction easily. For example, sodium potassium ion, nitrate ion, and finally is the sulfate ion. They will not undergo reaction easily. Well, that's it.